From the frozen fjords of Scandinavia to the silver screen, the stories of Norse mythology have captivated imaginations for centuries. These are tales of mighty gods and valiant heroes, of epic battles and cosmic events, all set against a backdrop of a world both harsh and beautiful. These myths offer a window into the beliefs and values of the Norse people, a glimpse into a world where magic was real and the gods walked among us. But the appeal of Norse mythology extends far beyond its historical significance. The stories themselves are timeless, filled with themes of love and loss, courage and betrayal, fate and free will. They speak to the human condition in a way that transcends time and culture. In these tales, we encounter gods who are flawed and human-like, capable of great love and terrible wrath. We meet heroes who face impossible odds with courage and determination. And we witness a world in constant flux, where even the gods are subject to the whims of fate. Norse mythology is not a single unified story, but rather a rich tapestry woven from many threads. These tales were passed down orally for generations, evolving and changing with each retelling. Over time, they were recorded in various manuscripts, including the Poetic Edda, a collection of poems, and the Prose Edda, a guide to Norse mythology written by the Icelandic scholar Snorri Sturluson. These sources provide a glimpse into a complex and fascinating world of gods, giants, monsters, and heroes. We learn of the creation of the world from the primordial being Ymir, the adventures of the thunder god Thor, the cunning of the trickster god Loki, and the tragic fate of the god Baldr. Each tale is a piece of a larger puzzle, offering insight into the Norse worldview and the relationships between the gods and humanity. But the fragmented nature of the sources also leaves room for interpretation allowing each generation to find new meaning in these ancient stories. While the Norse gods may no longer be worshipped, their influence can still be felt today. From the names of the days of the week, Thor's Day, Odin's Day, Freya's Day, to the enduring popularity of Viking culture, the legacy of Norse mythology is all around us. In literature, film, and television, Norse mythology continues to inspire new stories and reinterpretations. From J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, these ancient myths have found new life in the modern world. But the impact of Norse mythology goes beyond mere entertainment. The themes explored in these stories, the struggle between good and evil, the importance of courage and honor, the inevitability of fate, continue to resonate with audiences today. In this exploration of Norse mythology, we will embark on a journey through the nine worlds, guided by the ancient tales and the insights of scholars. We will delve into the stories of the gods, from their creation to their eventual demise at Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. We will meet the heroes who dared to challenge fate and the monsters who threatened the order of the cosmos. And we will explore the enduring legacy of these myths, from their influence on modern culture to their relevance in the 21st century. So join us as we set sail on a voyage of discovery, a journey into the heart of Norse mythology. Before time existed, there was only Ginnungagap, a vast and primordial void. To the north lay Niflheim, a realm of ice and mist, and to the south blazed Muspelheim, a realm of fire and light. From the clash of these opposing forces, life emerged in an unexpected form. As the heat of Muspelheim met the icy chill of Niflheim, a great melting occurred, and from the melting ice dripped the primordial being Ymir, a giant who embodied both the chaos and the potential of creation. From Ymir's sweat were born the first giants, while his slumbering form became the very foundation of the world. But Ymir was not alone. Alongside him emerged the primordial cow, Audhumla, who nourished herself by licking the salty rime ice. As she licked, a god emerged from the ice, the mighty Buri, ancestor of the gods. Buri's son, Bor, married the giantess, Besla, and together they had three sons, Odin, Vili, and Ve. These three brothers, destined to become the rulers of the cosmos, challenged the might of the primordial giant Ymir. In a fierce battle that shook the foundations of existence, they slew the giant, and from his body, they shaped the world.
with Ymir vanquished, the three brothers, Odin, Vili, and Ve, set about creating the world from the giant's remains. They raised his skull to form the heavens, his flesh to shape the earth, and his blood to fill the oceans. From Ymir's eyebrows, they built Asgard, the realm of the gods, a place of glittering halls and verdant fields, accessible from Midgard, the realm of humans, by the shimmering rainbow bridge, Bifrost. Odin, the eldest and wisest brother, took his place as the ruler of Asgard, becoming known as the All-Father, a title that reflected his role as the leader of the Aesir, the principal gods of Norse mythology. The Aesir were a diverse group, each with their own unique powers and domains, but they were united by their strength, their wisdom, and their unwavering commitment to protecting the order of the cosmos. There was Thor, the god of thunder, whose mighty hammer, Mjolnir, could level mountains and summon storms. Baldr, the god of light and beauty, beloved by all for his kindness and purity. Freya, the goddess of love, beauty, and magic, who rode a chariot pulled by cats and possessed a cloak of falcon feathers that allowed her to shapeshift. And Heimdall, the watchman of the gods, who guarded the Bifrost Bridge and possessed eyesight so keen he could see for a thousand leagues and hear the grass grow. Of all the Aesir, Thor was perhaps the most beloved by both gods and mortals. His booming laughter and thunderous might were a source of both awe and comfort. With his fiery red beard, his belt of strength, Meginjord, which doubled his might, and his trusty hammer, Mjolnir, Thor was a force to be reckoned with. Thor's adventures often took him to the front lines of the battle against the giants, the Jotnar, who were the eternal enemies of the Aesir. The giants, who embodied chaos and destruction, were constantly seeking to undermine the order of the cosmos. And Thor, with his unwavering strength and sense of justice, was their greatest adversary. One tale tells of how Thor, disguised as a bride, infiltrated the stronghold of the giant Thrym to retrieve his stolen hammer. Another recounts his epic battle against the Midgard serpent, Jormungandr, a monstrous snake so large it encircled the world. Thor's strength, however, was not limited to brute force. He was also known for his wisdom and his compassion. He was a protector of both gods and mortals, and his name was invoked for protection from harm, for bountiful harvests, and for safe travels. While Thor embodied strength and action, Odin, the All-Father, was a god of wisdom, knowledge, and magic. With his one eye, his raven companions, Hugin and Munin, who brought him news from all corners of the world, and his spear, Gungnir, which never missed its target. Odin was a figure of both power and mystery. Odin's thirst for knowledge was insatiable, and he would go to any lengths to acquire it. He hung himself from the world tree, Yggdrasil, for nine days and nights, pierced by his own spear, to gain knowledge of the runes, the magical alphabet that held the secrets of the cosmos. He sacrificed one of his eyes to drink from the well of Mimir, gaining wisdom, but also a glimpse of the inevitable fate that awaited him and all the gods at Ragnarok. Odin was also a god of war and death, and he presided over Valhalla, the Hall of the Slain, where warriors who died bravely in battle were welcomed to feast and fight for eternity. He rode a magnificent eight-legged steed named Sleipnir and was often accompanied by wolves and ravens, creatures associated with both wisdom and the battlefield. No account of the Aesir would be complete without mentioning Loki, the god of mischief, trickery, and fire. Loki was a complex and enigmatic figure, neither wholly good nor evil, whose actions often had far-reaching consequences. He was a blood brother to Odin, but his cunning and his love of chaos often brought him into conflict with the other gods. Loki's pranks ranged from the amusing to the downright dangerous. He once cut off the golden hair of Thor's wife, Sif, forcing the Thunder God to embark on a perilous quest to have it replaced. He also fathered a number of monstrous offspring, including the wolf Fenrir, the Midgard serpent Jormungandr, and the goddess of death, Hel. Despite his often destructive tendencies, Loki was also capable of acts of great cunning, and even, on occasion, heroism. He used his wits to help the gods in their battles against the giants, and his mastery of magic proved invaluable on numerous occasions. However, 
His love of trickery and his disregard for the consequences of his actions ultimately set him on a path that would lead to the destruction of the gods and the cosmos itself. At the heart of Norse cosmology stood Yggdrasil, the world tree, a colossal ash tree that connected all of existence. Its roots extended deep into the primordial realms, its branches reached up to the heavens, and its trunk pierced the heart of Midgard, the realm of humanity. Yggdrasil was more than just a tree. It was a symbol of the interconnectedness of all things, a cosmic axis around which the nine worlds revolved. Asgard, the realm of the Aesir, was situated high among Yggdrasil's branches, a place of glittering halls and verdant fields. Midgard, the realm of humans, lay in the center, surrounded by a vast ocean. Jotunheim, the land of the giants, was a realm of ice and stone, a perpetual threat to the order of the cosmos. But these were just three of the nine worlds. There was also Alfheim, the realm of the light elves, known for their beauty and grace. Svartalfheim, the realm of the dark elves, skilled in magic and craftsmanship. Niflheim, the realm of ice and mist, where the primordial being Emir was born. Muspelheim, the realm of fire and light, home to the fire giants. Hell, the underworld ruled over by the goddess of the same name, where the dead who did not die in battle journeyed. And Vanaheim, the realm of the Vanir, a group of gods associated with nature, fertility, and wisdom. While the Asir were the most prominent gods in Norse mythology, they were not the only ones. The Vanir were a separate group of deities associated with nature, fertility, and the sea. They were known for their wisdom, their mastery of magic, and their connection to the rhythms of the natural world. The most prominent of the Vanir were Njord, the god of the sea, wind, and wealth, Freya, his daughter, the goddess of love, beauty, and magic, and Friar, his son, the god of fertility, sunshine, and rain. The Vanir were originally at odds with the Asir, and their conflict led to a great war that shook the Nine Worlds. However, the war eventually ended in a truce, and the Vanir sent Njord, Freya, and Freyr to live as hostages in Asgard. In turn, the Asir sent Hanir, a god known for his indecisiveness, and Mimir, a wise being, to Vanaheim. This exchange of hostages symbolized the tentative peace between the two groups of gods and the recognition of their shared power. The Vanir's presence in Asgard brought with it a deeper understanding of nature's rhythms and the importance of balance and harmony. Their wisdom and magic complemented the Aesir's strength and martial prowess, enriching the tapestry of Norse mythology with tales of love, loss, and the enduring power of the natural world. The world of Norse mythology was populated by more than just gods and goddesses. Giants, dwarves, elves, and a host of other creatures inhabited the nine worlds, each playing a unique role in the cosmic drama. The giants, or Jotnar, were the eternal enemies of the gods, representing chaos and destruction. They were often depicted as massive and powerful, dwelling in the icy realm of Jotunheim, or lurking in the wilderness of Midgard. Yet, despite their fearsome reputation, giants were not always depicted as purely evil. Some giants possessed great wisdom or magical abilities, and some even formed alliances with the gods. The dwarves, on the other hand, were master craftsmen, renowned for their skill in metalworking and their creation of magical weapons and artifacts. They dwelled deep beneath the mountains in Svartalfheim, their subterranean forges echoing with the clang of hammers and the roar of furnaces. The dwarves were said to have been created from the maggots that infested Ymir's decaying flesh. But despite their humble origins, they played a vital role in the cosmos. Elves, too, were divided into two distinct groups, the Light Elves, or Ljusalfar, who dwelled in Alfheim, and the Dark Elves, or Dokalfar, who resided in Svartalfheim. The Light Elves were renowned for their beauty and grace, while the Dark Elves were skilled in magic and craftsmanship. Both types of elves were closely connected to nature, and their magic often reflected the power of the elements. In Norse mythology, Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, signified the end and a new beginning. It was a cataclysmic event, a final battle between order and chaos. The nine worlds would be plunged into turmoil, and the sun and moon devoured by wolves. 
Jormungandr, the Midgard Serpent, would rise from the ocean. The ship Nagalfar would carry an army of giants and monsters. The Aesir would arm themselves for battle, knowing their fate. Yet from the ashes, a new world of peace and harmony would rise. Section 5. Echoes of Asgard. Norse Mythology in the Modern World. Norse mythology continues to resonate in the modern world. Its influence spans literature, art, language, and popular culture. Days of the week, Wednesday for Odin, Thursday for Thor, Friday for Freya. Inspiring works like Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings and Gaiman's American Gods. Marvel's Thor and Loki captivate viewers. Video games like God of War and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Norse mythology explores universal themes that resonate today. Norse mythology, often perceived as a realm of epic battles and thunderous gods, also unveils a tender heart, a tapestry woven with threads of love, loss, and the complexities of relationships. From the passionate trysts of the gods to the heartbreaking sacrifices made in the name of love, these tales offer a glimpse into the emotional depths of the Norse cosmos. Norse mythology is a realm where mortal heroes rise to meet extraordinary challenges, their names etched in legend for their bravery and determination. These heroes embody the values cherished by the Norse people, courage, honor, and a willingness to face the unknown. One such hero is Sigurd, a legendary warrior chronicled in the Volsunga Saga. Sigurd slays the dragon Fafnir who hoards a cursed treasure. His actions set in motion a chain of events leading to his own demise. Sigurd's story reminds us that even the greatest heroes face unforeseen consequences. Another legendary figure is Beowulf, the protagonist of the Anglo-Saxon epic poem. Beowulf's tale shares ties to Norse mythology. Beowulf aids Hrothgar, king of the Danes, by defeating the monstrous Grendel. His epic battles and ultimate sacrifice resonate with Norse heroic ideals. The tales of Norse mythology, passed down through generations, have transcended time and culture, shaping literature, art, music, and our understanding of the world. These stories, once shared around firelight, now inspire modern artists, writers, and musicians. Writers like Wagner, Tolkien, and Lewis drew inspiration from these ancient tales, enriching their narratives with themes of heroism and fate. Norse mythology's influence extends beyond literature, permeating visual art, music, and popular culture. In recent decades, Norse mythology has found a new home in film and television, captivating audiences worldwide. The Norse saw death as a transition to various afterlife realms. Valhalla, ruled by Odin, was for those who died bravely in battle. Chosen by Valkyries, warriors trained healed nightly, ready for endless combat and feasting gods against chaos. Woven into the fabric of Norse mythology is a system of magic, a means of understanding and influencing the world through the power of the runes. These runes, more than mere letters, served as potent symbols, each representing a specific concept, force, or element of the cosmos. According to Norse lore, it was Odin, the Allfather, who first discovered the runes. Odin hung himself from the world tree, Yggdrasil, for nine days and nights, pierced by his own spear, Gungnir. Through this ordeal, Odin gained insight into the mysteries of the runes. With this newfound knowledge, Odin shared the runes with gods and mortals alike. The runes were used for a variety of purposes. Rune masters would cast the runes to divine the future. Runes were also carved into amulets and talismans for protection and good fortune. Warriors might carve runes into their weapons or armor, seeking victory in battle. Healers might use runes to mend wounds or ward off illness. The runes served as a tangible link to the divine, shaping one's destiny. The shape-shifting trickster Loki's legacy of mischief and mayhem Loki, the trickster god, embodies chaos, his actions unpredictable, his motives ambiguous. Born to giants, Loki remains an outsider among the Aesir, his loyalty ever shifting. A master of disguise and strategy, Loki's pranks range from amusing to catastrophic. He orchestrates the theft of Thor's hammer and the death of Baldr, yet aids the gods in battles. Loki is a complex figure, embodying both light and shadow, 
challenging the divine order. Women of power and wisdom, goddesses, valkyries, and the feminine divine, Freya, goddess of love and magic, embodies the allure and power of the feminine. Frigg, Odin's wife, represents wisdom and prophecy, her influence far-reaching. Skadi, goddess of winter, symbolizes the untamed power of nature and resilience. Valkyries, warrior maidens, embody courage and martial prowess, guiding fallen heroes to Valhalla. These figures highlight the strength and complexity of the feminine divine in Norse mythology. Myths of creation and destruction, cycles of renewal in the Norse cosmos. The Norse cosmos is a dynamic entity forever in flux, embracing the cyclical nature of time. From Ginungagap emerged Ymir and Audhumla, leading to the creation of the world by Odin and his brothers. Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods, signifies not just an end, but a transformation, a new beginning. Prophecies foretell a great winter, monstrous wolves, and a final battle between gods and chaos. Even in annihilation, hope remains, with a new world rising from the ashes, embodying renewal and rebirth. Bridging the Realms Exploring the Nine Worlds of Norse Mythology Yggdrasil, the world tree, connects the nine worlds, each with unique inhabitants and landscapes. Asgard, realm of the Aesir, is a place of power and wisdom. Midgard, realm of humanity, lies at the cosmos' center, surrounded by a vast ocean. Jotunheim, realm of giants, embodies chaos and destruction. The nine worlds, interconnected by Yggdrasil, represent the diversity and interconnectedness of the Norse cosmos. As we draw to a close on our journey through the nine worlds of Norse mythology, we find ourselves reflecting on the enduring power and resonance of these ancient tales. From the thunderous exploits of Thor to the cunning schemes of Loki, these stories continue to captivate and inspire. Norse mythology transcends its origins, offering timeless lessons about courage, resilience, and the cyclical nature of life and death. It speaks to the human condition, our hopes, fears, and our place in the grand scheme of things. Even in a world ruled by chaos, there is beauty, wonder, and potential for heroism. The influence of Norse mythology extends far beyond the sagas and poems of the Viking Age. It has seeped into our language, art, literature, and popular culture, inspiring and igniting the imagination. The names of Norse gods live on in the days of the week. Wednesday for Odin, Thursday for Thor, Friday for Freya. In literature, J.R.R. Tolkien and Neil Gaiman drew heavily on Norse mythology. Norse mythology has found a home in opera, film, television, and video games, introducing these ancient figures to new generations. These stories continue to inspire, offering a glimpse into a world of gods, heroes, and timeless themes. The enduring appeal of Norse mythology lies not only in its epic tales of gods and monsters, but also in its relevance to the challenges and complexities of the modern world. These ancient stories, forged in a time of hardship, exploration, and profound change, offer timeless lessons about courage, resilience, the importance of community, and the power of storytelling to connect us to our past and guide us towards the future. In a world often marked by uncertainty, rapid technological advancements, and the erosion of traditional values, Norse mythology reminds us of the importance of holding fast to our principles, facing our fears with courage, and finding strength in our connections to others. The tales of Odin, Thor, Freya, and other Norse deities teach us that even gods and goddesses face challenges, experience loss, and make mistakes. They remind us that it is through our struggles that we grow, that our flaws are often intertwined with our strengths and that even in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds, hope and renewal are always possible. Norse mythology also speaks to the power of storytelling as a means of preserving cultural heritage, sharing wisdom, and connecting with something larger than ourselves. These ancient tales, passed down through generations, have shaped our language, our art, and our understanding of the world around us. They remind us that we are part of a larger narrative, 
a story that began long before our time and will continue long after we are gone. By engaging with these myths, we not only connect with the past, but also gain insights that can help us navigate the present and shape the future. As we bid farewell to Asgard, Midgard, and the nine worlds of Norse mythology, we carry with us a sense of wonder, awe, and a deeper appreciation for the power of storytelling. These tales, born from the imagination of a people who lived in harmony with nature's rhythms and the ever-present threat of the unknown, continue to resonate with us today, reminding us of the enduring power of myth to shape our understanding of the world and our place within it. The gods and goddesses of Asgard, the heroes and monsters of legend, the realms of fire and ice, magic and wonder, these elements of Norse mythology have left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness, inspiring generations of artists, writers, musicians, and dreamers. As we move forward, let us carry with us the lessons learned from these ancient tales. The courage to face our fears, the wisdom to seek knowledge, and the understanding that even in the face of darkness and uncertainty, hope, renewal, and the enduring power of storytelling will always light our